Hey, do you want to learn how to create an amazing photo slideshow like the one you're watching right now? Then stick around, I'll show you how. Before we get started, smash the subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I subscribed and I will get back and answer your questions. So let's get started. Welcome to this channel for another video. So let's get into it right away. The first thing we need are images. We need images to pull this effect up. So get your images stuck in a file somewhere in your folder. We're going to import them later and use them. I have my stock already. I've imported some of mine and I have some on the file on the computer. So the first thing we need is we need a title. So go to title, pick a suitable one, preferably a simple one and drag it to the timeline. Now double click on it and we're going to make some changes to it. So click on advance. We don't need the border so click to delete it. We delete the second text too. And let's readjust the second one. We'll come to it later to make some modification to Now let's import in a frame. This is what we're going to use to place all our images in. So let's adjust it. Right there. So now let's import our image. Let's import the first one into the frame. Now adjust it to fill into the frame just right. Now you can use the four keys on your keyboard to align it on the on the frame. All right. When you're done with that, let let's add some text to the to the frame. So let's modify this text and add it to the frame. It depends. You can write whatever you want, or you can even leave it if you don't want to write anything. So let's change the fonts. Oh, this is too bold. Let's look for a a better one. write something like this so let's resize it to fit into the frame you can write whatever you want I'm going to write anger that depicts the picture I'm using so resize it change the color to black to fit into or on the white background this this is not going to work so let's import and not let's click on that T T sign and type another image the other one was stuck behind the image now we, we want it on the image so align it properly use the four keys on your keyboard to align it now when, if we're done Make sure it, it is properly aligned. Now we need to adjust it, push it down a little bit to the middle. So adjust it properly. All right, when we're done, we'll click OK. There we have it. That's our first image. So what we're going to do, instead of repeating it, we're going to copy this, copy the first one. We're going to copy and paste. We copy that, then paste it next to it. Having done that, you double click on it and you go back to this place and delete the picture. Now, import another picture then resize it resize the picture to to fit the frame just like the first one then you can change the you can change the text you can write whatever you want to write just depicting the picture you're using and when you're done with it you click ok then the next thing you 
copy and paste again and do the same thing just like the first two you did so you go through all you go through the same process to do for all the photos or the pictures you're going to use depending on how many so you can you can take your time and, and complete that i'm going to fast forward it a little bit and we'll continue from there So now that we're done, the next thing we need to do is to take a snapshot of each of the photos. So you click on the first one and take a snapshot. You look right here, there's an icon that looks like a camera. Click on it and it should take a snapshot and paste it on, on our media. Now let's take a snapshot of the second one right there. It appears on the, on, on the media. We take a snapshot of each and every one of them. All right, when we're done, we don't need this. So the next thing we need to do is to highlight them and delete them. We don't need them anymore. So you can highlight them, then delete. So we're done with, the, with those. So now the next thing we need to do, we need to create background. So get those pictures, the pictures you use in making uh, those frames, not the not the frames, the raw pictures. Now you drag them down one after the other. Since we're using five here, we're going to drag those ones down and we're going to align them properly. So now we need to create a background. And one thing we do, we crop to, crop to fit. So right click on it, go to crop to fit and click it to fill the, the screen. Do it for each and every one of them. So when we're done, the next thing we need to do, since we're going to use this as a background, we need to apply an effect to it, a blur effect. So go to effects and look for blur. Now drag it down, start stash it on it, then you you expand it to cover our, now you can see our image is now blown it's now right for our background that's exactly how we want it so the next thing we need to do is to drag then all those images in frame one after the other make sure you you place it right in front of right above the other don't interchange it so when we're done with that make sure it's aligned and let's pre-render it to get rid of this thread line just to make the playback smoother and faster now that we're done the next thing we need to do is to apply motion so apply motion to it to each of the pictures so double click on it then you go to motion then take your time here yeah, you don't you don't have to be specific here so choose the right motion test it if it's okay you you go with it and if it's not you choose another one so we're going to use this two so click on it one after the other you click on the image then you click on the motion do the same to all the other images Alright, now that we're done, we need to pre-render pre it just to make it sm uh, move smoother, to get rid of the red line. So click on that little icon there. Alright. Alright. Alright, now that we're done, let's just take a look at Let's test it and see. Alright, the next thing, we're not done yet. We can add transition. This is an option, but we can do that go to transition now test the transition you don't have to be too specific here to just look at the gliding your slide then you pick the one that goes with the slide so double click on it test it then you drag it down and you check it if it's okay if it's not okay just 
right click on it and click delete and you get rid of it so let's test let's test some of them one after the other that's okay let's look for another one yeah maybe this one all right let's see how it looks like uh, I think this is okay let's try this one for the last one there yes just like that then let's double click on it then you come in we need to reduce it down we need it to be faster so let's try 20 if it's okay we'll leave it if it's not we'll go back and make some adjustment so quickly pre-render pre -render it to make it faster all right now let's let's look at let's glide through let's test it and see okay okay is almost okay maybe there's something we're gonna stay due to it let's go back there let's double click on it and reduce it to 10 instead of 20 now let's take a look at it again all right maybe after pre-rendering it just to make it more smoother now let's take a look at it again all right it moves faster now the duration is very short i think it's okay we're satisfied with this yes that's okay so now the next thing we're not done yet there's a lot of things we could do today so let's uh, add some sound effects if you have some sound effects you can add i'm going to use the ones i have here drag the first one down test the the sound make sure it goes with the Make sure it goes with the with the slide. We test the sound. Okay, you're not going to hear the sound here because I mute the, the the sound. But don't worry, when I'm done, you're going to hear it loud and clear. I just try to insert all the audio. Just make sure it's right. Take your time. Insert them one after the other. Test it. If the volume is too high, reduce it, just make it just right. So I'm going to fast forward it, then we we'll see how it is. All right, now, now that we're done with that. What more can we do? Yeah, there's something else we can do. We can add background music. So you can pick, if you have a music you want to add, you can pick one. I want to use this very one. So you get the music, you drag it down. You drag down the music and add it to the background. Now, play it. Play it over and over again just to get the right music. Just make sure it's not too loud and probably not too not too low. And go through it and cut out the part you don't need. So let's cut cut down the last cut out the last part. Click and delete. So now let's reduce the sounds. Let's reduce the soundtrack. The, the soundtrack the sound effects then let's also reduce the sound the background music just to align just to make sure it's not too loud your audience could be watching and listening to it with headset and you don't want too much uh, voice or audio right there so just go through it at the end make sure you fade it out the beginning should be low and also toward the end just to blend it just go through it uh, some few times few just a couple of times just make sure everything is right 
all right when it's right the next thing is to export so you click on export you can write you can change the name write whatever you want the name of the file then when you're done the next thing you do is to click ok click ok then it's, it's going to start rendering now it all depends on how heavy the file is it could take an hour or even more so done now let's listen to the final product let's listen to the results so what do you think about it it's great working with you i'm sure you have your own copy playing too so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends like it and also if you haven't subscribed yet just smash the subscribe button and leave a comment below you know we'll join you in the conversation and don't forget you can click on the video right on screen right now is something i'm sure you're gonna enjoy so i'll see you in the next video for me i'm out